Good morning everyone, welcome welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for visiting. And I have about one video a week about fashion, beauty, style, daily vlogs, reviews and so on. So if you're new here, please subscribe. It would mean a world to me. Just hit the subscribe button as well and a little bell that will remind you every time I upload the video, it will send you a notification. But if you're um, here with me for a longer period of time, thank you so much for being here and of course watching my all my videos and I want to say thank you I kind of want to do this regularly in most of my videos if it's possible if you don't mind as well um, I just want to say thank you for watching and help me to grow in this channel and of course if someone just leave a lot of comments I would like to recognize um, those people as well um, so thank you so much I have a I have it written over here so I pronounce it right I hope I will it's um, a channel called Corda Pelle Confect Soys <laughs> that left lots of lovely comments under my videos and with the good inspiration and good advice. So thank you so much for that. And I have to say I love languages. I love learning and travel. If I could speak properly any language, um, I really would love that. I'd love to communicate with you guys if I could in your own language. I think it would be nice and lovely compliment, but English is my second language anyway, and I'm doing not too bad at the moment. But today, a daily vlog of randomness. So the few things that I want to share it with you. I'm also staying cozy today in my other stories jumper because it's so cold and miserable outside. It's such an awful day. Let me just show you. Camera probably not going to show it properly, but it's rain, it's windy, it's just not a nice day. So I'm hiding at home today and trying to stay warm and cozy. But I managed to go for a lovely walk to Greg Namana. So Greg Namana is, in translation, it's the village called Village of Monks, in translation, Greg Namana. I think Google told me that anyway, so Google is always right. <laughs> and this is a lovely village, um, small little village where you can go for a river walk, walk by the river. And you can walk from Greg Namana to another small little village called St. Mullins. And this walk could take about two hours. We did not do the full walk. I went with Callum's mom. We didn't do the full walk from one place to another. It was a little bit too long for us. But I got some footage for you. I just want to show you a little bit more island, just in case if you're thinking of coming into Ireland, maybe places to visit, to stay. So um, you might never get a chance to come over here. So I want to show you a little bit of island, if it's possible. And over next while as well hopefully the weather pick up when i have more time hopefully in the future if i work for myself i will be able to show you even more so if you watch my previous video i have a few shots from dublin but i'm going to show you dublin properly a little bit better in the future also there's so much that i need to share with you i am looking for the best volumizing hairspray out there so if you have any recommendations please let me know but today in next part of this video i'm going to review a live with you <laughs> first impression of my new uh, hair volumizing spray that i bought in dublin and let me think what you what do you think about it i review already whey product in one of my previous videos so i'm going to leave all the links below also to all those products so let me know what do you think is it worth it was it worth it to review buy at all did you try the product yourself as well what do you think about it also one more thing before we move on to a review of those of that product i'm addicted to microfiber cleansing cloths um, what do you use for cleaning your house i just trying to keep as natural products as possible use as little chemicals as possible in house cleaning products for my house cleaning products and we've really switched from even dishwasher tablets um, we use in more natural we um, for recycling we try not to use the plastic bags as well we um, have a lovely compost for our garden um, nutritionist compost from the food that we throw out we try not to throw out too much water whatever leftovers we have so yes we're trying to be as sustainable as possible it's going to take a time it's a progress um, but we do our best but anyway, microfiber cloths, maybe they're not as sustainable, but at least I can use them and use them many, many times and wash them instead of, let's say, buying paper towel or things like that. So thanks, Donna Marie. Thank you so much for recommending for me those cloths because I'm in love with them. 
So I bought a whole set. Donna Marie um, gifted me this beautiful glass and window cloth and I have to go and purchase a few more. So this is my new, um, new set. And this is not a microfiber, it's more like a very unusual cotton feeling fiber and this is one of the best cloths for the window that I've ever used. And I'm only using that with a pure a vinegar and my windows are sparkle and are so lovely and shiny for the ins from the inside anyway <laughs> on the outside unfortunately my windows are not that clean if you could see it because um, after rain they always just get dirty so quickly also I bought the one for the kitchen that I didn't use yet so this is more kind of for non scratch surfaces general purpose cloth which look more like a microfiber also this one for dusting off which have a nice and very very fluffy texture this one it's not a minky cloth it's more from jml but it's called magic eraser so this is a sponge that i'm always use for years now for different surfaces it's surfaces that you let's say you want scratch or damage so you can use it on sinks you can use on your hub also sometimes i use on our glossy tiles if i can and even which I would highly recommend to be really, really careful with. Sometimes I'm using um, this magic eraser to clean our seats on our couch. Again, you're going to have to be really, really careful with it and just try it somewhere else. And I would not use it too often as real leather, of course, you can damage the surface of it very, very easily. But if it's very dirty and it's very hard for me to clean it, I'm using that magic eraser sometimes very gently and it just takes all the dirt off. Because where we're sitting, even sometimes I'm putting a blanket to kind of protect the couch, it still gets a little bit dirty. But the magic eraser is just absolutely amazing. You can get magic eraser, copy of the magic eraser also in Aldi, Lidl, and they are as good. Also, if you have um, even, let me just move the camera so we can look at each other. Even if you have, for example, um, residue left in your mugs after you tea, um, the kind of build up or on your cutlery as well, your teaspoons after uh, mixing the tea, you get that kind of like a brown residue. This just remove it just beautifully and with no effort whatsoever. So highly recommend to have a magic eraser and try it at home. I would not use it on surfaces like this one, for example, like our glossy fridge, or if you could see like our uh, presses as well. This is more kind of like a plastic spray finish. So I would be really, really careful with that. But any of those surfaces like this one, this is not real wood. Um, I can use on that as well and on the dirty hub. I actually left the hub dirty because I kind of want to try the kitchen cloth with you and also the glass cloth. So let's try it together. Um, it definitely will be first impression of the kitchen cloth. The glass I've used already and I'm really, really loving it and I'm really liking it. But let's try it together and then I am going to review for you <laughs> the new volumizing spray. So this is gonna be, um, I'd say, impossible for me to show you <laughs> uh, on the camera, but all I'm gonna use is just pure kind of vinegar on the outside of the window. I'm gonna stick my hand out over there <laughs> and just try to wipe it off. So this cloth is not something that I just kind of soak in water immediately, but once you just keep polishing, just dry so well and beautifully and takes everything off I promise you guys, it just takes everything and makes just beautiful and shine and clean. You can see a little bit of dirt and wet on this side um, versus just the clean part of the window. What a beautiful, amazing cloth um, to clean your windows. So it takes beautifully everything kind of like that it's stained um, just polish it lovely to the gloss but anything like that just kind of burn out that it's been here for from since the last coping is not going to take it off magic eraser is probably a little bit stronger a little bit better for that um, than minky cloth um, but they work together beautifully so two nice cloths from cleaning the hub and the kitchen 
Also, I feel this cloth probably going to be very, very good. So as, of course, the magic razor for cleaning um, water residue, if you have any water marks in the shower, for example. So I'd say this is going to be very good cloth. Although this kind of like a burnout residue, it's very, very hard to remove with anything. And I'm usually just use a like, little scratcher like that as well, or a little bit of salt. Um, but yeah, the good clots, and this is one of my favorite things of all anyway. So today I want to review with you another volumizing hairspray. It's actually a thickening product spray from Bumble and Bumble, which I purchased last Sunday in Dublin. And if you watched my previous video already, I review a way of volumizing spray, and which I really like. It gives you lovely and natural volume. But if you want to know more, please watch the video. I am on the hunt to find the best of the best volumizing hairsprays out there. So please, in the comments below, Please let me know what you think, what I should try, what kind of products do you use, what do you like, is there anything that you can recommend and you want me to try as well in my next future videos. Also, I purchased in Dublin Whey Texturizing Spray, which I'm not going to use with you today. It's only for my uh, curling days when I want to curl my hair, and which I'm not going to curl today. And I also purchased in Dublin Leading Proof Perfect hair day a body builder but this product is more to use on the dry hair and again I think I'm just going to make a proper review of this product some other time so we're going to focus on bumble and bumble today let's see how it works so if you're ready let's start so all I'm going to use I'm going to use kind of within the sections all around I'm going to focus definitely close to my scalp as much as possible and then throughout Lent also. I'm not going to use any special technique today for blow dry because I want this video to be honest. So just I'm going to style my hair as usual. It smells lovely, it smells really really nice and fresh. 
I'm wondering would it actually create a lot of stickiness in my hair, kind of stickiness or um, maybe more kind of like a texture feeling, we find out soon. For the moment it feels good and smells lovely and I will try to be as generous as possible with this because sometimes I feel it's not really honest enough for you if you don't use enough product also. Yeah, so I think I am ready. I'm gonna just kind of massage in <laughs> and then we blow dry here together and hope we get a nice result. So this is to be used only on wet hair, not on the dry hair. So if you're ready, let's start and blow dry. So what do you think so far? Um, do you think it's enough volume? It's a lovely and definitely natural volume. And I personally have to say, maybe Bumble and Bumble give me a little bit more volume than Way. Please watch my previous video and let me know what do you think, which one is actually better. The feeling of those products is very similar. They feel very natural in your hair. It doesn't feel like you have too much product. And um, there's no like, very sticky residue yet there is a little bit of the feeling that there is something in your hair but it's still your hair stays soft and natural there's a lovely smell as well smell lovely scent from those products so they're very very good i'm definitely going to keep using them and still looking for even more i'm kind of looking for a really extreme um volumizing hairspray but they don't create any static uh, feeling very very good product I'm going to straighten my hair now and I hope that volume is going to stay. So what do you think guys so far? I think personally I just love both of those products. They're very very similar so you cannot go wrong with either of them if you have a fine and delicate hair like mine and definitely this is something that I will never ever achieve without those products and also I have to say my hair is always a challenge in a hairstyle in hair salon every hairstylist literally it's a challenge because any hair products kind of weight my hair down and actually make it even worse and better but in this situation they're so light they're so delicate that it's just lovely and natural volume what else would i be expecting from those lovely products but um, keep searching keep searching for more please let me know in the comments below and give them thumbs up as well if you like them if you think they're nice and they actually worth it to, to buy yeah so i think that's it uh, in this video anyway <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon